talking about new Tesla products that are still on the way always stirs up a fair bit of debate, simply because until something is officially unveiled, many people doubt it is even real. This is especially true with Tesla, a company known for ambitious promises, unconventional strategies and game-changing technologies. But now, the affordable Tesla Model 2 is no longer just a rumor floating around tech forums and investor calls. It is very close, almost within touching distance, and according to multiple leaks, it could make its first official appearance as soon as November this year during Tesla's annual meeting. With a starting price of $15,990, the Model 2 would land at a price point so low that it would suddenly become a realistic option for millions who previously saw electric cars as an unattainable luxury. But as exciting as that is, the price tag is not even the biggest surprise. Elon Musk and his engineering team have quietly been working on something even more significant behind the scenes. Something that could alter the future of electric vehicles altogether. Tesla appears to be preparing to move away from lithium batteries, a staple of EV technology for decades, and replace them with something faster, cheaper, safer and far more abundant. Aluminum ion. And if these leaks are accurate, the first Tesla to be equipped with this groundbreaking battery will not be an expensive flagship like the Model S or the Roadster. It will be the entry-level Model 2. In this deep dive, there are at least three main points to unravel. First, why Elon Musk might be ready to step away from lithium batteries after relying on them for Tesla's entire existence. Second, what aluminum ion battery technology actually is and what it means for a low-cost electric vehicle. And finally, whether the Model 2, even with its cost-saving design changes, will truly be worth buying. These questions are critical because they touch on performance, safety, market competitiveness, and Tesla's long-term strategy for dominating the affordable EV segment. Four years, Tesla has leaned on lithium iron phosphate, or LFP, batteries for the most affordable versions of the Model 3 and Model Y. These batteries are popular not just with Tesla but also with many automakers because they offer a good balance of relatively low cost, stable performance and high safety margins. Naturally, industry observers assumed that for a budget-friendly car like the Model 2, Tesla would stick with LFP chemistry to keep production costs down while maintaining decent range and durability. But there is a problem. Even LFP might not be cheap enough to get the Model 2 down to the ultra-competitive $15,990 range and still leave room for Tesla's margins, especially when competing with aggressive Chinese manufacturers like BYD that already offer small EVs at cutthroat prices. This is why reports suggest Tesla is considering something far more radical. Ditching lithium entirely. The answer appears to be aluminum ion batteries, a technology that has been researched for years but has recently shown massive leaps in both lab performance and manufacturing viability. When whispers about Tesla developing aluminum ion cells first surfaced, it seemed hard to believe. After all, since the first Tesla Roadster hit the streets, every single Tesla has used lithium-based batteries in one form or another whether that was lithium nickel cobalt aluminum oxide, NCA, lithium nickel manganese cobalt oxide, NMC, or LFP. And even though Tesla has already worked to reduce the amount of lithium used in its cells, both for cost and for sustainability, it had never completely eliminated it. Yet the move makes perfect sense when you consider how volatile lithium prices have been. Elon Musk himself has publicly complained about it, pointing out that at one point the cost of battery cells doubled and lithium prices spiked by nearly 500% in a very short period, creating chaos for automakers trying to forecast production costs. The challenge with lithium is that while the metal itself is relatively rare in the Earth's crust, demand has skyrocketed due to EV adoption, consumer electronics and grid storage applications. Supply chains are fragile, extraction is often environmentally damaging, and large portions of the global supply come from politically unstable regions. That makes lithium a risky foundation for any mass market product where cost control is critical. Aluminum, on the other hand, tells a completely different story. It is one of the most abundant elements on Earth, roughly 8.2% of the crust by weight, and is about 800 to 1,200 times more common than lithium. It is mined in over 40 countries, including stable and industrially advanced nations like Australia, China, and India making the supply chain vastly more resilient. And perhaps most importantly, aluminum is far cheaper to source, currently around $2,200 per ton compared to tens of thousands of dollars per ton for cobalt or nickel, which are still used in most lithium battery chemistries. Now, what exactly is an aluminum ion battery? While the simplest explanation is that it uses aluminum ions instead of lithium ions as the charge carriers, that does not fully capture why it could be so revolutionary. Lithium ions carry a single positive charge, while aluminum ions carry a triple positive charge. 
This means each aluminum ion can transfer more electrons, leading to higher current density, faster charge and discharge rates, and the potential for much greater power output. In theory this can translate to extremely rapid charging times and excellent acceleration performance in EVs. Energy density is another promising area. Some aluminum ion prototypes have achieved 500 watt-hours per kilogram, roughly double the plateau that most lithium-ion chemistries face at around 250 watt-hours per kilogram. In practice this could mean storing the same amount of energy in a battery pack that is half the weight, or storing twice the energy in a pack of the same size, which directly improves vehicle range and performance. For a compact car like the Model 2, every kilogram matters. A lighter battery pack means the overall vehicle can be lighter, which improves acceleration, efficiency, and handling, all while potentially lowering production costs because other components, like the suspension and brakes, can be scaled down. According to the most reliable leaks so far, the Model 2 will have a minimum range of 300 miles using a battery pack with a capacity of just 53 kilowatt hours. This is a remarkably efficient result suggesting that the aluminum ion cells Tesla is developing have much lower internal resistance and higher usable capacity than existing LFP cells. There will reportedly be two variants, a standard range and a long range, with the latter offering even greater distance between charges for buyers willing to pay a bit more. Cost is where aluminum ion could truly change the game. Early estimates suggest a 53 kilowatt hour aluminum ion pack could cost around $3,100, compared to about $5,300 for an equivalent LFP pack. That is a $2,000 saving per vehicle, which might not sound earth-shattering for a single car but becomes enormous at Tesla's scale. If Tesla produces 2 million Model 2s annually, that saving adds up to $4 billion every year, a war chest that could be used for price cuts, factory expansions, or reinvestment into R&D. And because aluminum is so easy to recycle, requiring only about 5% of the energy needed to extract it from raw ore, it is far more sustainable in the long term. Safety is another huge advantage. Aluminum ion batteries can use a non-volatile ionic liquid electrolyte that is stable up to 200 degrees Celsius, drastically reducing the risk of thermal runaway and fires. Tests at Stanford University have shown these cells can be punctured, crushed, or short-circuited without catching fire or overheating. That makes them much safer for consumers and could even help reduce insurance costs for EV owners. The operating temperature range from about 5 degrees Celsius to 85 degrees Celsius means the Model 2 would work reliably in nearly any climate, from the snow-packed roads of Canada to the blistering heat of Arizona. Perhaps the most exciting prospect for everyday drivers is charging speed. Aluminum ion batteries have shown in lab settings that they can handle peak charging speeds of up to 1,000 kilowatts in short bursts far beyond today's fastest EV chargers. While production vehicles will not hit that number anytime soon, even conservative estimates suggest that a Model 2 could achieve an 80% charge in 10 to 15 minutes at a real-world rate of 250 to 350 kilowatts. That is faster than most current EVs and could significantly reduce charging anxiety for new buyers. The chemistry of aluminum also makes it inherently more resistant to damage from repeated fast charging, meaning less capacity fade over the years. Longevity is another strength. Many lithium-ion batteries start showing noticeable degradation after about 1,000 to 1,500 cycles, with the best LFP packs lasting around 3,000 cycles. Aluminum-ion batteries could potentially reach 10,000 cycles, translating to 20 years or more of typical use before the pack needs replacement. That could redefine resale values for EVs and make the total cost of ownership far lower than a comparable gasoline vehicle. Of course, no technology is perfect. Aluminum ion batteries still show reduced performance in extreme cold, especially below minus 20 degrees Celsius, with both range and charging speeds taking a noticeable hit. That is an engineering hurdle Tesla will have to address, perhaps through advanced thermal management systems or preheating protocols in cold climates. Still, for the vast majority of drivers, the trade-offs seem more than worth it. But the Model 2 story is not just about the battery. To hit that $15,990 starting price, Tesla has made strategic design changes. Leaked prototypes show the Model 2 skipping expensive design features like the continuous LED light bars on the Model Y, opting instead for simpler, higher-mounted headlights. Single-pane glass replaces double-pane, the panoramic glass roof is swapped for a metal one, fabric seats replace vegan leather, and heated seats are gone entirely. The audio system has fewer speakers, and the rear passenger display, intended for future robotaxi use, has been dropped. Even the power lift trunk might be replaced with a manual one, 
just like the early Model 3. Inside, the steering wheel remains round but without stalks, and nearly every function is routed through the central touchscreen. The center console is lower and sharper, with a hint of Cybertruck influence. Some may see these simplifications as downgrades, but for Tesla's mission, they are strategic sacrifices. The company is targeting not just existing EV buyers but also younger and lower-income consumers who have never seriously considered an electric car before. For many of these buyers, the priority is price, reliability, range and charging speed, all areas where aluminum ion could give Tesla an unshakable advantage. Competitors like BYD, Hyundai and GM are still committed to LFP or NMC chemistries, which are arguably hitting their technological ceilings. Tesla, by contrast, is leapfrogging directly to a next-generation solution. And that raises the big question. Will the Tesla Model 2 actually launch under $20,000? Based on the cost savings aluminum ion can deliver, combined with Tesla's manufacturing efficiency, it seems entirely possible. And if it does, it will not just be another affordable car, it will be a turning point in EV adoption, pushing electric mobility into markets and households that have so far been priced out of the revolution. For Torque Element, this is not just about another Tesla. This is about the moment EVs stop being a premium choice and start being the default.